And my mic was muted. My mic was muted. That is funny. Okay. Alright. Bear with me for one quick second here. Uh, everyone live. Now with some more packs. Make it plain and simple. I should have changed the thumbnail. The thumbnail is not the right uh, resolution, so it has like black borders um, when posted, like on uh, Discord and uh, and uh, Twitter. All right, so we should be good now. I'm just gonna. I'm not like wasting any time today. We're just gonna get some packs opened here. So we have two and a half cases left, um, and then after these, um, in probably a week's time, I'll have another six cases to open. So pretty much, this is again just the first. Uh, wave of packs a wave aqua force oh my gosh that's so freaking great that wasn't, even, that wasn't even the point of me saying that damn it oh my all right guys uh packs oh yeah you guys probably would like to see this because my dumb ass oh literally the first time i've opened packs off stream from a new set and i pull an asr like really all right <laughs> By the way, this definitely means there's a high chance that I actually can pull another one because the thing is, is this was my third case, which means I have nine cases left in total, which basically means I pretty much have the same, uh, I have like, I, my cases should be within the odds of pulling another one, but um, I guess we'll see. I don't know. All I know is this card I was the one I wanted um, of the two, which is the Glory Maelstrom uh, was the other one. Um, and then other, where's the SP? Oh, freaking hell. I put them all in a binder. I never put SPs in a binder, but this time I did. So I'll grab the binder and quickly show you guys. Um, I was like, screw it. Why not try to organize them a bit? Um, unlike I usually do. Let me quickly open this here. Give you guys a little bit of a recap of the last time. Let's double check this right here. Oops, All right, let me quickly get to the page over here. Butterfly Moonlight shit and all this. Oh my gosh. Okay. Question is, will the camera thing be big enough to? St okay, no, it won't be. I have to pick up the camera. So so far, uh, Nova Grapplers. We've gotten uh, one Cool Hank, one Airshid. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Uh, great Nature, just basically one of each of... Um, I'm pretty sure these are all three of the Great Nature stuff we can pull um, as singular SPs. Um, we pulled uh, one Aqua Force uh, SP pack plus a few others. Over here we got uh, Nikki. All right. Um, Bergios SP from the... Uh, these are all the SPs basically from the uh, SP pack. Um, here is... We pulled two Aboro SP packs in total so far plus a few extras um here are the rest of the sp packs and i think that's it all right so so far those are sps and then also again we pulled the asr maelstrom so so far we are in heavy profit so hopefully we just don't have like a huge bad luck streak and end up like pulling jack shit but welcome emerald and secret kingdom appreciate you guys coming out today um and we're gonna get into our first packs after this sip of coffee All right. Let's see if we can pull anything good today. I don't. I, I, nobody should expect an ASR. Basically, we're just hoping for good um, SP packs um, from today because, again, we just pulled the uh, ASR from the last case. So, Thavis. Uh, put that there. Got to get my stuff quickly set up here. And I've been I've been taking these out because I've learned that like when there's like extra stuff, basically the tokens. And then the um, cradle markers, they almost always are like a quarter. So, you know, they're, they're de they have some value to it. I basically say if a card's 24 cents or higher, it has value to it. So, yeah. Tell me, I get here just as you start busting packs, exactly. We got here right in time. All right. Triple rare there. This set's very nice, by the way, guys. Um, they did a really good job on this set. I would say when it comes to art and um, and like the way the, the the set was like set up, I would say VVT ten was also a good set. But a lot of vendors will not say that because they probably either lost money or barely made any money. So 
Yep. Greylock says he misses you. Okay. SP Novas. Yeah, I'm actually hoping to pull a Nova SP pack out of one of these, you know. Uh, there's our first VR, Big Belly. I really need to get... Uh, by the way, guys, I am looking at getting a new camera for December, but um, pretty much either December or early next year, I'm looking at uh, getting another camera for right... A new camera for right here because this camera is just terrible um, when it comes to focusing. And yeah, I, obviously, I do a lot of opening streams, so, you know, I want it to look better for you guys. But, yep. They really kidded with the Nova art. I agree, definitely. Um, oh, Isabella. Great just seems very strong. Honestly, I'm having so much fun playing them. Big Billy and Isabella. I I haven't actually looked at like the uh, the play style of it, but it does look indeed fun. All right, more packs. Yeah, cards worth at least 25 are good cents. Uh, it's used for laundry money. Basically, why um, I call it, why I say they have value is because a 25 cent card plus the 78 cents shipping basically makes it so I actually do make a few cents off of a sale. Because basically, if I sold some for 10 cents and they only bought one, I would actually lose money on those sales. Um, so before, I used to sell um, pretty much every card I got. And I end up losing money on a bunch of like we're talking pennies, but it's like you don't want to lose any money on. Oops, that was I just whacked the trash can. You don't want to lose even the slightest bit on um, any sales. So yeah, that's why I swapped all that out and try to fix that. But yeah, when my order, um, when I get everything done, which should be everything should be shipped out a day before or on the release date. So just be patient, and your stuff will definitely get out. What's up, David? Welcome. Been a while since I've seen you in here. I feel like I say that every time you come in here. <laughs> All right. So out of this case, we've actually already pulled one SP. It was a Aqua Force SP. I think it was the grade two. I don't remember the exact name. So, oh, then, okay. You know, I'll take it. Pretty much, oh, why the hell is this? I literally don't. Oh, I, that must have been from an investment I made and someone should do that. I don't know. Whatever. All I know is we did get a Great Nature SP, uh, which I have multiple people interested in these. So these will go quick. It's just obviously they'll be cheaper than uh, um, average SPs, meaning Aqua Force and uh, Nubatama. So, yep. What's up, Element Saber? How's it going? It's going pretty good. Again, ASR Pool has just made all these cases um, good, I guess. Uh, Victor, which also I actually have my uh, deck box here because I have so many of these freaking Majesty deck boxes. I was like, screw it, I'll just throw all of my decks in, in um in a Majesty deck box. Quickly show you guys. Now the thing is, a lot of these cards I was told were supposed to be used in a Victor deck, but a lot of them ended up not being used. So basically, I kind of wasted my money on some of these. But I'm gonna test out different mechanics with it. But so far, these are my uh, cards for my deck. Um, so, you know, you got Brutal Jacks, um, Adminsky, and then a bunch of the stuff from the new set. Um, including those, my Kick Kicks. Uh, Clay Dolls apparently aren't used. Uh, Twin Bladers. Uh, Shouts are apparently not used. And Drill the Duel are apparently not used. So basically, a bunch of those I have to swap out, figure out how I'm going to set that up. But, um, yeah, I just got to sleeving those right before I started the stream, actually. So, pretty cool there. Crap for me, my dad's banning me from Twitch. <laughs> I guess there are a, I don't know why, but I guess there are a lot of, uh, you know, people not great influences on Twitch. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but that's what first came to mind for me. Playing for local next week. That'd be interesting, eh? Get that, get them dubs, eh? All right. Come on, give me something good. You know, I want to see a Nova SP. That's what I want to see. We've only pulled two so far. Um, in total from this is our fourth case actually and we only have one more sp but we have an sp pack uh left also your build complicated that's why they're it's not my build it's um what's that that deck's basically just a bunch of cards that i'm uh planning on going in and out you know through the deck and like testing out new uh strategies and everything Swapping out a bunch of cards basically i bought all of the options i was assuming i was going to use which actually i have to buy a few more so it's not like that's my final build or anything.
Yeah, I don't know. I mean, DI for Protect Deck, I know is, well, one strong, and it's also uh, definitely a uh, fun deck to play. But personally, I don't like many of the Protect, deck, uh, protect Decks either. Um, so, yeah. I don't know if you're looking for my recommend, uh, recommendation, but I mean, DI would probably be my first uh, choice. Oh, and Burgius. You know, when you see these two rares before another card, you know it's something. But the thing is now, Burgius apparently counts as like an SP because SPs, uh, there's always two rares before. All right. No SP include the Victor stuff or Blau stuff. Um, yeah, I don't. I'll take any of it, honestly. Um, pretty sure all of the triples have S or can be SPs and all of that. So, I mean, I'll take anything, but I'm not throwing any of the SPs in my deck because there's no point in my opinion. I don't play the, the physical game enough for me to, uh, SP out my deck. Oops. Alright. Keep grabbing these out. I'm gonna keep doing that. See if I'm right or if I'm just wasting my time by taking these out. Oh, Lambros. Personally, my favorite art out of all of the arts of this uh, set. Alright. Double rare. Pretty good. Protect it. Yeah, it is. Definitely. I actually know nothing about it, though. Um, all I know is that it's been topping. Uh, Big Billy. I don't know how much it's been topping recently because obviously VVT uh, 12, but I know uh, when uh, VVT 11 was out, it was definitely topping. So, the plan is to open the rest of my boxes today. So that means we have what i think there's 10 boxes after this one left in this case and then we got two more so we got a lot of opening to do today i mean i've opened what 12 cases on a stream before with my friends so i mean i guess two and a half cases doesn't seem like too much I just cleaned up all of the previous boxes. Now I got more to pick up. And then I got six more cases after that. So. <laughs> hey, sorry I'm late. All good, man. Not too late. Not, you only missed one SP and a Burgius. So no biggie. The SP pack is still to be pulled out of this case. So we're just basically, that's the big hype. In pretty much every single case, let's be honest. I mean, the three SPs are nice, but the SP pack, it's seven SPs. I mean, it's worth over double the amount as a single SP. Unless unless the SP, one of the SPs is worth like over $100, like the X was, or like uh, Luard. Even though Luard never sold at 100 but people assumed it would be 100 I mean, if you still want to do content creation, YouTube's always a good second or first. But if you originally said it went with Twitch, then probably second. Maybe. Oh, and Victor. Very nice, very nice. I have a feeling Victor is going to probably die in value, sadly. I mean, when a triple rare deck's better than it, um, and it's the same clan and the same set, it's the VR is probably going to die. Let's be honest here. So, it's going to suck. If Nova's die in value, but I mean, with all the previous sets in mind, it's probably gonna be one of the lowest valued uh, clans in this set. Burgues, dude, I I love how they do these reprints. They do it. They're doing it in uh, VBT twelve as well. They're doing the reprints of the Burgioses. Also in um, what is it? EB fifteen, the freaking Bermuda Triangle one that's coming up. They're giving you one uh, PG for Bermuda Triangle per box as a promo. So, I, I love these little um, add-ons of what the, um, because usually there are set ratios. And then they add stuff like, again, last set they added uh, Bronwyn's. This one they added Burgioses. Um, and it's just basically, it helps out the vendors a lot, to be honest. So, if the set shits the bed, these kind of make up for them. 
Did you pull the A star from the last video? No, I actually, I opened it. I was opening boxes off camera and I ended up pulling it, which while I grab another box, you guys can just stare at my beautiful card. YouTube is so hard to grow on. I mean, you're not wrong, but I mean, you just got to figure it out. It's just like, think of a good idea. Basically, what I went with is, um, my plan originally was to just do openings and just, you know, just do some simple videos and, again, just opening packs and everything. And then basically when Zero came out, I was like, screw it, I'm going to do this. Basically, I was like, all right, screw it. I'm going to go and try to hit first place. And then that basically went up from there. So, I mean, it's just basically a combination of um, a good idea and a lot of luck to grow on YouTube. But, I mean, either way. A lot of these comments, I'm pretty sure pretty much none of these comments are actually good. I mean, maybe a few, but like, you know, when there's like, what, 30-something copies of uh, different, uh, what is it called, commons, it's like, kind of worthless to a point. Isabella. Uh, DI is pretty pricey, to be fair. Definitely if you use Yellow Bowl. Um... But I mean, actually, it's really. I think Grand Blue is definitely more expensive, and Grand Blue is like. I think Grand Blue is a little worse as a deck, to be honest. I'm not sure. That's definitely just an assumption, but. Or opinion. Even though I have a Grand Blue deck, so I mean, I'm just dissing my own shit. I'm gonna pull the, the Glory ASR. Um, I mean, I'll take it. I mean, but I'd rather. To be honest, I'd almost rather just get another uh, regular Maelstrom. Because, one, they're more valuable, and two. Um, they're actually used a bit. Glory's not used very much. At least I've heard. Alright. Again, another clan I know nothing about, so you guys can diss me if I'm incorrect. Put these over here. I made more room for commons. Also, I went through a bunch of other the um, ones from previous opening um, into a box, so we should be good on room, and there won't be any common spillage. Hopefully. Dude, what looks better, RLR or ASR? Well, I would say ASR, and the reason is, is I'm not a big fan of the, the, uh, I mean, Night Rose. The thing is Night Rose. Like, here, we can compare them. Freaking hell. I would definitely say Maelstrom looks better than, um, the Hari, but I think Night Rose looks better than Maelstrom, to be honest. Do uh, Stern Blau Kluger a hey. for your old unboxings on uh, on in the background while watch uh, while playing Zero. Sounds like a good idea to me, eh? I mean, you might get it just a uh, severe headache from listening to me, but I mean, just hear me screaming in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Glory is used more as a finisher than a ride target. You stay on after your second ride. Okay. Yeah, I literally know nothing about Aqua, so. I mean, I barely know anything about the deck. I, dude, how many times am I going to hit that freaking trash can? It's going to sound. Each time it sounds like I freaking hit a bell or some shit, like a giant bell. Alright. So, by the way, we still have one SP and an SP pack remaining out of these. I think it, there's nine boxes left. So, we still got some more hype out of this case, definitely. In my opinion, for a deck, I mean, unless you're trying to be super competitive, just find one that you think you'll enjoy the most. Uh, like, me personally, I'm not a competitive player at all. I just play whatever decks I enjoy playing. So. But, I mean, if you're super competitive, there's... I think, if anything, it might be easier to find a deck that's, like, better competitive-wise than it is to find one that you'll enjoy. And I'm saying that meaning, like, you have to pretty much test out decks to know which ones you like. Um, but with competitive decks, there's... Uh, uh, what is it called? There are charts and everything to tell you what's winning and what's really doing better than other decks. Alright. How'd you get this early? Is it out? Um, I am a vendor, so I get all my stuff early so then I can handle everything and get everything prepared for the release date.
I got Genesis for Force, Pale Moon for Excel, and nothing for Protect. Definitely sounds like you have more of a, like a fun lineup of decks. So I mean, I mean, what deck really would? It's a matter of what deck seems more fun to you. Then, if that's what you're going for, some casual fun deck. I mean, you could go on Card Fight Arena and play with a bunch, test out a bunch of different uh, Protect decks, and maybe that's the way you figure it out. But I don't know. Again, I'm more... Again, I, I don't play the physical game that much. Um, I try my best to play it, but there's really nowhere to play it at. Um, but if anything, it's like... I mean, there are a few ways to uh, actually test out decks. And again, car fight area... Uh, what is it? Car fight, is it car fight area or arena? My, I, I don't even freaking know. I don't even use it. I don't even, I don't even have it downloaded. Oh, my. I'm not exactly the best person to get advice from when it comes to game unless you're asking about uh how to sell cards <laughs> oh my <laughs> come on sp show yourself angel gabriel is great yeah that card that deck looks hella fun but obviously we gotta wait another month ish to uh get them Sadly, and the question is, how much is that deck gonna really be? I mean, Gurgit's probably gonna lower the the rest of the uh, the set's prices down because everyone's gonna want Gurgit because it's topping like freaking crazy. Probably playing one with a while. Uh, when's COVID done? You probably. I don't know yet. Again, I, my, the closest locals to me is 15 minutes away, so kind of tough to play, but. Oh. Triple rare for a second. I thought it was an SP. You know it's an SP because it sticks to the back a lot more than any of the other cards. And then also you see it's a card that is uh actually like can be an SP because um the double rares do the double rares and rares do stick to the back, but it's definitely easy to tell. Okay, yeah. I got it right the first time. Appreciate uh, the fandom channel for the subscription. I don't know why the heck it's not popping up, but thank you for subbing. I need to freaking fix that. I keep telling myself I need to fix it. I never fix it. I'll fix it after this stream. But it's not popping up on uh, stream unless it did and I just didn't see it. All right. So after this, we'll have six boxes left. And we still have an SP and an SP pack to pull. Plus, always the chance of another ASR. Obviously, the chances are definitely lowered since I already pulled one. Hey, yo, what I miss? One SP so far. And for everyone that just is joining, if you'd like to look and drool over the uh, Blue Storm Dragon Maelstrom ASR, then be free to do so. Dude, I keep hitting that trash can. Hopefully that's somewhat amusing to you guys, but I don't know what the frick I'm doing. Alright. To me. Are you still going to do zero content? When I feel like it. Just I don't have any extra time right now. Basically, I do zero whenever I have spare time. But if you couldn't tell by my schedule, I've had, like, pretty much no time. Uh, the one thing... The one thing we actually haven't pulled is a VR... Um, as an SP, um, that's one thing. Again, this is our fourth case, so it's like I'm expecting to start but to pull at least one soon of the, um, again, VR as an SP. Come on, give me Victor. Come on, boys. Let's go. And I just dropped the cards. Luckily, not on the floor. That's the one I pulled. Wait, yeah, that's the one I pulled two of actually uh, singular SPs. Uh, Kept you writer Dennis. Is 
It was actually funny when I pulled the uh, the ASR. I didn't like freak out, but I had like an like an inner freaking like what the heck just happened like just pump of energy. I don't know what the fr it was so weird because usually I freak out like you know I yell and all that junk. This one it was just everything was like inside. I just didn't let it out. I don't know. It was, it was weird. I wish I had a, I really wish I had it on recording because I was almost like freaking out like I was about to have a heart attack or some shit. But. Sadly, I didn't have it on recording because I was like, oh, I'm not going to pull another ASR on, on freaking, uh, I, I opened one case. I opened one case. I was not expecting to pull an ASR considering it's supposed to be a one in 10 chance. All right. So two out of these six boxes will indeed have either an SP or an SP pack. Just waiting for it. One thing I love about buying a lot of boxes, um, is that you get so many dice and the dice are just so sweet and also they actually have a good value to them um on average they're about three dollars a dice which is actually crazy to think about but i mean i'll take it as a vendor oh. all right the search card for uh new katama first time good. Uh, no, I don't have a set time to do this. This is basically whenever I have a spare time also. I, basically, everything on YouTube is when I have spare time. Um, but, yeah, there's going to be more of this set after this stream probably a week from now when I get more stuff. But I'm trying to get more videos out and everything. I'm, I'm freaking nearly bleeding over here from opening freaking packs. Apparently, I need to change the way I open these things because... I like get my arm freaking bruised from leaning and then I get because the cards keep t uh, hitting my finger. It's like I've actually scratched my finger because of it. Yeah, I plan to do some more EX as well. It's just, again, I, I enjoy playing these games, but they always come last um, in my list of things to do. So. Oh, and we got a Boro. Probably going to be the most expensive VR. It's, it should be, by far, actually. It's probably going to be like a solid $6 more than like Lambros and, and all that. Probably what's going to be. It's probably going to be, I'm assuming it's going to be a Boro, freaking Lambros, mate. Then I'm going to say Victor. I'm talking about Lambros theaters. Maybe Victor, but I feel like all of the Great Nature and the Nova Grappler uh, VRs will probably be around the same price. Uh, maybe a dollar or two off. This is what I like to do. I like to predict the market, so that's that's what I'm doing right now. Cut them with scissors, silly. It honestly takes the fun out of it, in my opinion. I like opening the packs the normal way, so that's why. That's why I continue doing that. But... Remember when I opened uh, Psyqualia Strife, my hands were literally red because the uh, packs are twice as hard or more to open um, because the packs only have two cards. And all I remember is I've never wanted to stop streaming so much ever in my life. Again, my hands were just beat the hell up. All right, give me these commons, boys. Really? Is that, Isabella going to do that? Well, I swear I saw it on most of the Japanese markets for like a $2 card, which which would mean it would be like a 4 or maybe $5 card here. Usually, at least that's uh, usually how they convert a little bit higher over here again. Uh, Japanese cases are a lot more expensive than, uh, I mean, uh, cheaper, a lot cheaper. Don't get that twisted. A lot cheaper than uh, English cases. The dentist. That card almost always looks like an SP to me. Maybe because I've already pulled two of them, but I mean, I'm gonna start opening the packs right here. So then, if that SP pack is there, you guys can see the uh, shiny right off the bat. Oops. All these tokens here. I have a feeling they'll probably be a quarter, like I said before. And I, j I already broke what I said I was gonna do. All right. Actually, I'll move these tokens over here. They're kind of getting in the way of my arm. Come on. Show it to me. Yeah. 100% I'll pull the SP before the SP pack. That's always how it works. Oh, cool, Hank. 
I would take that as an S pair. I bet you Cool Hank will probably be. I want to say when it's it's all uh, when all of the craziness is gone, meaning all of the uh, like fluctuations in price. Cool Hank will probably be a fifteen dollar SP. I want to. Say. Dude, we are literally getting so lucky. Holy shit, dude! That's two Aqua and two Nubatama SP packs. The two best SP packs. Oh my gosh, dude! Let's freaking get it, my guy. Oh my gosh. Dude, the cash is flowing, my guys. Oh my gosh, dude. Let's freaking get it. Mergius, Thavis, Nikki, Mitros. I don't know what the hell that name is. Pascal and Quick Shield. Let's freaking get it, boys. Now I honestly kind of want a Nova one, like, could, please? I mean, actually, I, I shouldn't jinx it. I actually kind of be fine if, you know, I kept getting those. Oh, yeah, the SPs that I have. Okay. I just realized um, my SPs are in the binder, so now i got to put them over here. I'm going to move the uh, pack there. All right. That's really good. That's crazy. All right. I'll take that. Was the, with that unpopular, I picked it up as a cheap deck to play and super cheap. Yeah. That's the one thing I liked about VBT10 is that that set was really for the buyers, um, the players, whatever word you want to use. But because the pretty much every deck, basically, it was three cheap decks that pretty much anyone could buy and then one super expensive deck for the super competitive players. So, oh wait, I have one pack left from that box. That's why I really love that set. And I was happy about it because as a vendor as well because I was able to profit off of it even though everyone was against the set um, as being a vendor. So, all right, here's the last pack of that uh, that box that we put. Um, at Lambros, okay. That was a freaking killer freaking box. All right. all right, boys. We have so many packs left though. That's the thing. How far are we in? I don't have my... Uh... Oh, wait. We're 33 minutes in. Okay. We're actually sh doing shit for time right now. Oh, Bergius. Pretty sure you get five of these per... Kate. You son of a bitch. Oh, my gosh. I just got freaking coffee. Oh, my gosh. My VRs are right next to my coffee. Just missed it. Holy shit. That's like $500 in freaking VRs, and I almost just spilled freaking coffee on them. My dumbass. Oh, no. I said no spillages today, and I just did it. All right, I'm moving the coffee away from my co my uh, beautiful victors. Oh my gosh, that was almost freaking hell. Imagine I just dropped that shit right on there. I just had a freaking bunch of coffee-filled freaking VRs. That suck ass. I hope you guys got all of your, uh, your if you guys were buying them, the Spikes, the Tachi, the uh, Mega Colony cards, because they were at a point where the some of the VRs were a dollar or two, and like just things were so low, and now everything's rising again. Because people are now realizing there's more hype with these clans, definitely. Hey, let's go, boys. <laughs> Airship, that's my second one. All right. I was about to put it in the bulk pile like a dumbass, but, you know. All right, so as I do, considering we pretty much have no chance of pulling another freaking ASR, definitely out of this case, um, what I'm going to do is I'll open the rest of these packs here, and then I'm going to go to the next case. Um, basically, I'll just open those, um, uh, what's it called? I'll open those off stream because, you know, I try to keep everything exciting here, and also, you know, when I'm watching a video or something, you know, I like to uh, open packs. What's up, Carfag Geek? Welcome. Appreciate you coming out. All right. So after this, I actually got to open a... There's a... What is it called? A box with two cases in them, basically. Right. I guess you could say things are rising. No... Okay. Um, I think that deserves a timeout. Um, I think everyone would agree. All right here and let's see if this cord goes long enough for me to get over here uh, yeah. all right boys 
I'm so out of damn shape, you know, it's just it's just a bit sad. Just a bit. Alright. Let me quickly get this opened. It just doesn't want to open. I am the king of boxes inside of more boxes inside of even more boxes, alright? Box open. Box one. Hey. Or case one, whatever you would like to call it. And the second one's always a bit of a bother. Oh, that was actually easy. I don't know what I'm talking about. And case two. And then here's another box. Hopefully my address isn't shown, but you know, if it is, come say hi. No, don't actually do that. Opens off stream second ASRB. <laughs> Please, no. It's like, literally, I just freaking stab myself in the back. Each time I go and do that, each time I've opened an ASR or the RLR, I've gotten a freaking 2,000 plus view uh, Twitter video from it. So, you know, I'm just stabbing myself in the back. Less clout. Hey. More boxes. And then... More boxes. Alright. So, there was only three boxes left in that case. Alright, guys. So, 40 boxes left. There we go. Hey, Storm of Blue. Storm of the Blue Calvary. Alright. Where did I put my. Where did I just put that? What the frick? Oh, I put it near my picture. I don't know why, but these boxes just don't want to open. The uh, booster boxes. The plastic is like... Actually, wait, no, I'm a dumbass. It's just the knife. The knife's shit. I, just... I was about to blame it on the box. Alright. So, complete reset. Now we got three SPs. Um, and an SP packed to pull. Right, let me move these commons and rares out of here. There and there. Alright. How much do you think draw PGs will go for after the clan selection comes out? Well, it matters what their previous prices are. Um, I'm thinking like, you know, Gold Paladin and, and all those, like the ones that are like $10 will probably be four to five in that range. And the reason is you guys got to really take into consideration when like trying to figure out, like trying to predict these numbers is that you get one per box of each PG. So there are going to be so many PGs just scattered everywhere. So, I have a feeling the really expensive ones will be 4 to $5, maybe even a little less, a little bit more maybe. And then the ones, say, the ones that are a dollar now, they'll start to become quarters. Um, ones that are $5, you know, they'll be about 2 something like that. But basically, the prices are going to get halved pretty much, or more, maybe a little less, but around there. But... Honestly, I'm I'm happy that they're doing that because PGs, you, again, you need pretty much four uh, PGs uh, per deck. Well, besides like Night Rose and all those, you don't need PGs. But pretty much, it just makes it easier. Oh, jeez. Excuse me. It just makes it easier for all the players to uh, make decks. And then also, it's not like it's hurting the vendors by lowering all the prices. I mean, some. I mean, if you highly invested into PGs way back and you still haven't sold them, then... Uh, rip you but yeah oh and cool hank i was really thinking that was a sp the shang it was just all over and we got big belly actually wait no we did i was saying we didn't pull a vr um sp but we actually did we did pull big belly so just none of the others yet sharan we so far, again, we pulled two Aqua and two Nubatama SP packs. Freaking sick. I mean, if we keep that going, we can stay away from the Great Nature stuff, honestly. Wait, there's two Great Nature SP packs, aren't they? There. So that means we want to stay away from the Big Belly ones. We want the Isabella ones. All right. I actually completely, that completely slipped my mind. That means we've literally pulled four SP packs, and then and each time we got the better ones. Okay. Talk about luck. 
Welcome to Sayula. Hey man, been a minute. Yeah, I haven't seen you here in a bit. You're welcome. Really like Arishid's uh, art. Very nice card there. And Lambros. Oh, I was sticking so much. I was expecting it to be an SP. That would be such a good single SP. Oh, Thavis. We have pulled one of these as an SP. So, but question is, would the VR or the tripler, uh, triple rare be more? I would assume the VR. Um, some VRs are, I mean, some triple rares actually end up being more expensive than VRs. Um, for example, uh, Brad Black, Brad Black um, versus Gallup. I mean, Gallup was just shit, so, I mean. Maybe not that great of a, uh, example. To me. Imagine we pull another ASR. Wait, what? Oh, shit. Where'd it go? No! Oh, there it is. Oh, it was a double rare. It fell into the trash can. Just imagine throwing an SP pack in the trash can by accident. I don't know how you would actually possibly do that, but, I mean, either way, it would suck. I was thinking maybe to play Blouse at this point. It's like, I mean, I went into buying this set thinking, oh, I'm going to, you know, play Victor and just sell the rest. But I don't know, maybe I try Blau out. I mean, it's apparently better than Victor, probably because it, it's got more consistency. But, um... Oh. My dice. Make more yeah, I guess so. Um, I assume that means probably like Galaxy Blau Kluger will probably be a five dollar card to be honest. Maybe a little bit less. Again, it matters. Because lately, Vanguard, I don't know what's been going on, but there's been so many people buying so many boxes of Vanguard cards that the price is just freaking duck like crazy. But, I don't know. So, I mean, it's like me saying Galaxy Blauku would be $4. It would probably be like 3 maybe two fifty. But, I don't know. I don't know. Something like that. Big Belly is also good. Well, all the cards are good. It's just... What cards are really proving themselves? Because it's like, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe this set becomes one of those ones that, like, all the VRs are, like, $7 and more. And then, like, I don't know. I, again, I don't know. I'm just waiting to see what the uh, what the set uh, market will look like um, after the release date. All I know is I've learned that unless there's a super, super cheap clan pretty much every time with expensive stuff, you pretty much want to get rid of it for the fact that almost every time they go down, down, and down because the, pretty much all the sellers are little Timmies and they go ahead and just always undercut each other, which makes me have to undercut them. And it's just an ongoing thing with all the sellers. Everyone's undercutting, them, uh, undercutting everyone else because uh, they want to get rid of their stuff. Definitely their expensive stuff because that's what makes their money back. At least makes your money back quicker than uh, obviously the cheaper stuff. Isabella. Double rare. One good thing is I already got all of the hollows sorted from the last opening, so I shouldn't have too much to sort after this. Um, trying to think. I want to get more content out, and I want to at least get one video and one stream or two streams out before i open more of these boxes because again we have to wait until probably i'll probably get my more of my stuff probably on the release date actually which is going to be kind of shit and shoot 
the 16th, I might be streaming uh, BTO1. In two days is my birthday, by the way, guys, the 16th. So that's why I'm thinking I might open all of the packs back there I still have. Um, if you guys can see the little bits of blue, those are BTO1 packs. I think I'll open those. Um, how many boxes left? So we've got 36 after this box. So still a good bit left. And then again, we still have six cases coming in later. Um, so we got a lot of BT12. Um, with uh, basically the only thing, only set we've opened more of than this set is uh, Silver Dust Blaze, which we opened uh, 20 cases. So really birthday, appreciate it, guys. But yeah, I'll, I'm gonna really try my best to do some type of uh, stream on that day. One, because I kind of want to open these up. One, because I want to see the SPs, what SPs I get out of them. And two, it's kind of just, uh, I, I mean, maybe about $1,000 in packs over there. And it's like, they've just been sitting there for months. And it's like, I just want to get a return on my investment here. Somewhat of a return. So, I think we'll do that tomorrow. I mean, not tomorrow, but two days. How does this case thing work? Like, how do you get it early? Uh, it's called, you have to, basically to get stuff early, you have to become a vendor, a legalized vendor, um, and pretty much you have to buy from a distributor. The distributor sends that out early, so then you all, um, so then you have time to set everything up. So then on the release date, everything's um, situated um, to sell and all of that. Um, so yeah, that's basically how it works. It's, I mean, I, I pretty much simplified it. Let's just like let's be honest here, but yeah. And then also, I feel like most people don't realize this, but a lot of people want their stuff before the release date, and people don't understand that it's actually not allowed for me to even ship stuff out before the release date. But I do it sometimes either way because it's like I don't think they're gonna give me shit for shipping stuff out a day before considering they're all, they're going to receive it two days after the release date. I'm probably freaking twisting the rules here. I probably shouldn't be doing it, but until I hear someone tell me otherwise, I'm pretty much just going to continue doing it. A vendor, yes. Someone that buys and sells cards. I mean, a vendor can sell anything, but yeah. Come on. I want to see an SP, man. Dang. Oh, shit. Wait, I just realized... Yeah, Wait. Oh, no. We're not two SPs in, right? Wait. Am I confusing myself? Shit. Do I still have an SP in the, the three boxes over here? Or was that air shit? I think that was air shit. Never mind. Never mind. All right. So we haven't pulled a single SP. All right. See? I, I get into talking to you guys, and I completely forget what where I'm at. Hey. I see an easy thing. Not particularly. I mean, you have to uh, be an official government business. You have to situate all that stuff and then all the tax stuff and all that before you can even get a distributor. Um, so then, so then you can buy product and then do basically what I do. It's actually pretty complicated to be fair, but after all the work's done, then it makes it pretty simple. I love how most people probably wouldn't talk about this stuff because. You know, it's almost like people think it's a secret, but who gives a shit? I, I, I definitely, um, not recommend, but it's like, if people want to try to sell cards, go for it. I mean, if anything, then people will see that it's actually not as easy as just opening cards. So. Imagine when you still have to open the packs. Well, definitely when you open 12 cases and it's just me. I gotta sort... I not I don't have to sort luckily I don't have to sort all the rares in the comments. If I had to sort all those, it would take me all of those days, pretty much like twelve hours a day for me to get it all done. Luckily, I mostly only have to um uh, what is it called sort all of the hollows and then I have to sort um a good amount of the rares in the commons for then to put those into the uh, splits. So yeah, but people can sell them any way they want. Like they could just sell the hollows. Um, I personally think it's good to. I, I think splits are pretty much the best way to go. But then people do it where they, um, what's it called? They hold on to their stuff and then hope stuff rises in price. There's a bunch of ways people sell these things. But yeah, it's about. I'd actually love to get that one in an SP, man. Come on, show it to me. Funny, actually, mo I have, 
I have nobody right now interested in Nubatama or Aqua Force. I have people interested in Great Nature and Nova Grappler for SPs. And I'm pulling everything that nobody's interested in right now. At least I haven't received a message yet about anyone being interested in the SPs. All right. All right, this is the sixth box of this case. Is it gonna... Dude, I need to get a freaking new knife. Holy shit. Actually, I do have a better one, but I don't know where I freaking put it. Right now, my freaking room slash office is a freaking mess, so I don't know where anything is. All I know is I'm going to be sorting through everything and trying to situate and organize everything because um, Black Friday is pretty much the biggest day for a seller. I need to make sure everything's posted by then. Um, if you guys didn't know, TCG Player does it where they give uh, bonus bucks for sales. Uh, you know, when you buy stuff, um, when people buy stuff on the website on Black Friday, usually it's about 10%. And pretty much it's like the biggest day for a seller because that 10% isn't like deducted out of any money that the uh, sellers make. Basically, they take it out of the fees. The 10% is taken out of the fees that they take from the seller. So it basically is a, is a time for sellers to just sell, 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 and then people to buy, 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 and then actually get um, uh, stuff for cheaper. So, just want to. I, I I do this a lot where I just I find a topic and then I just explain it. I don't know if that's an annoying way to do this stuff. I haven't heard any complaints yet, but we'll go with it until someone gets pissed. <laughs> oh man! All right, come on, show me. I'm I'm just waiting for that like beautiful, beautiful like Victor SP or an Isabella. Like, come on, give it to me. I might want to be a small one decent inventor, but I don't know. Um, I wouldn't know anything about like um other countries how to do all this stuff. I mean, it might be a different system, might be easier, might be a little bit harder. I don't know. All I know is like places like the UK. It's like it, at this point, it's nearly impossible to vend um solely in the UK because their cases are like two hundred dollars more expensive each. So that again, that's two hundred dollars each case that they're losing. That like me, I would be gaining that two. That two hundred would be my profit. Obviously, I, I still have to make all that money back. But it's, but yeah, basically, either way, it's two hundred less dollars either to lose or less that you'll gain uh, for profit. Oh, oh freaking hell! I thought it was this would be like a really nice one to pull as a singular SP. It's probably gonna be like a sixty, seventy dollar SP. But nope. I also grab that. It's actually pretty cool. I am based in uh, the United States, and it's actually funny. I'm pretty sure only like 23% of my viewers, and um, I think it's a little bit more than that when it comes to sales, um, are only from the United States. So basically, they are just people everywhere, both watching my videos and um, buying from me, which is uh, pretty cool, to be honest. So I try to make my uh, website as friendly as possible internationally. Because I know a lot of you guys are um, international. So I try to set, uh, set that up. And I actually want to. Let's freaking get it, dude. That's what I'm freaking talking about right there. Lambros SP, dude. Oh, let's go, dude. Oh, my. That's what I'm freaking talking about. This is probably going to be a $60, $70 SP. So that's like a freaking sweet ass pull. All right. I'll take that. Dude, we're literally getting too lucky. I already know these six cases apparently are amazing, but I have six more cases after this. Again, uh, we're opening them later in the week, but I have a feeling they're just going to be jack shit. Aqua's calling to 50. Actually, like, no joke. What the frick is going on, dude? Oh, my gosh. Freaking crazy, dude. I mean, apparently I'm being blessed because I. besides me pulling the ASR from uh, VVD10, I got shit on when it comes to pulls. So I guess I'm just getting um, a little bit of payback, I guess, for getting shit last time. I don't freaking know what's going on. Where are the Nova SP packs, right? I actually would be like, I, I'd love to see a Nova SP pack, to be honest. I don't even know what's in it. And I hope no, and nobody tell me. Hopefully there's kick it. Nobody say anything. I want to see it. Um, for the first time from a pack, but I'm assuming there's a kick kick in there because those are um, a staple in uh, all of these decks. I would assume it is. 
Just nobody saying anything. I actually would love to just pull it out of a pack. Isn't this the card that was broken with a stride or something that like get infinite attacks and they banned it or some shit? Pretty sure that's what happened. Oh, the obvious. Well, how I keep saying this, how I don't think Big Belly looks like a VR, but then this Thavis definitely looks like a VR. And I'm talking about the art. So we still have... Oh, crap. There's cards here. I always do that when there's an SP. <laughs> Actually, shoot. I put the SP over here when it should be here. All right, so that's the first SP out of these, uh, out of this case. So we still have a lot of SPs in um, these cases left. So be prepared. I'm going to move these commons and rares out of the way. As you guys know, I have a tendency to drop them. So hopefully I, I try to like put them to the side um, when I have a smaller amount. So there's no chance of me losing them onto the floor. I'd rather not have freaking dirt and shit and like little scratches and, and marks on my cards. All right. So after this, this is um, the eighth box of this case. So we're nearly halfway done uh, this case. Then again, we got one more case afterwards. And we still have uh, two SPs and an SP pack with the chance of the ASR still left. So. All right. Dennis. Show it to me. Dude, I actually like kind of want a shittier SP at this point. And I don't mean like one of those great twos or one of those. I want a Victor, an Isabella, like one of those, or a Victor or an Isabella SP pack. It's like, show me. You pulled any SP packs? Um, not out of this case. Last cases? Yes, I do. Uh, what is it called? There, it's one uh, SP pack per case, so. I don't know why I bring coffee to when I'm opening packs. I open packs so fast and I'm like, I don't care about anything around me. So I'm just like, every time my coffee ends up getting cold and I never drink it. What is this? Oh, I thought that was an SP. Come on. I mean, Cool Hank is kind of one of the worst recipes, but I mean, it's Nova. I've already pulled a Cool Hank and an Airsh, and I pulled two Airships actually, but I still haven't pulled a Victor or a Galaxy Blau Kluger, which I'm not 100% sure if I can pull those out of uh, uh, out of singular SPs. It's probably in the SP pack, or maybe it's the other way around. Maybe they're not in the SP pack and you can pull it as a singular SP. I don't know. All right. So many more good cards to pull. This last half of this case is probably going to be pretty dang spicy. And I'll get my little plug in now. If you guys are interested in any of the cards here or any of the cards in the future sets, including clan selection, um, everything. The Sadly, the case splits for ca uh, case selection is still not up. I mean, clan selection. Um, it's sadly not up yet, but I'm getting those up soon, but I have boxes up right now on a uh, 50 cards that shop use code 11 for 10% off. I have to get my little plug in there, but yeah, if you guys are interested in anything here or like VBT, uh, 12 or, uh, Bermuda sets, um, yeah, check it out. Now on to the video. <laughs> All right, come on. To a point, I wish there were more SPs per case because it's like, again, you only get four boxes really with the big hype. The rest of it's kind of just going pack to pack. I mean, five if you count the ASR if you do pull it. But, yeah, I don't know. Oh, shoot. I put a rare in there. Some dude did it. What's up, Simon? Welcome. Come on, Isabella, or... Okay, well, 
That one, I don't know why, but the Obura almost sticks more to the back, so I always think it's an SP. Damn. Cool, Hank. Alright, after this box, we will be halfway done this case, so we've got... A case and a half left. Right, sweet. Tell you what, though, before when they announced that they were giving rid of mats and adding dice, I was actually kind of disappointed, but now I, like, love the dice and hope they keep it in the boxes forever instead of the uh, play mats. Which is all the Victor stuff, like four of everything. Um, well, currently posted on my website, I think it's $105. Plus, you get 10% off with the uh, discount code. Pretty sure it's like that. It's, it's something similar to that if it's not, if that's not uh, correct. But, yep. Isabella. Lot of these tokens hopefully i'm not wasting my time by sorting all these out um i guess either way i'm gonna throw them into the uh, nubatama splits so i mean i'm either way i'm not wasting my time but you know it'd be nice if these things were a quarter or something to make it so it truly is worth it oh there it is i literally asked for it and there it is isabella sp i was begging for it <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's funny. Holy shit. I've got freaking Psyquia in this bitch. <laughs> Lambros and Isabella. That's freaking crazy. Two good SPs right there. All right, sweet. That's what I'm talking about right there. That card looks very nice. Actually, I'll show it close up here. Hey, look at that. Pretty damn nice. I'll tell you that. All right, sweet. Happy boy. SSP, yeah, dude, that's a sick one too. That's like one of the better ones. I don't know if I want new uh, Nubas or Novas. Um, well, Nubatama is definitely a better deck. Um, I personally would say Novas is more fun, but I guess I kind of have a biased opinion because I'm a Nova main. But um, I mean, if you're looking for more competitive play, I recommend Nubatama. If you're looking for more fun, I personally recommend Nova. But obviously, I could be incorrect with the whole fun thing. I don't know. Lean towards Nuba because Nuba and Grand Blue are my day one. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, honestly, if, if you're kind of looking towards um, Nubatama without even taking into consideration that it's one of the better decks, um, that might be the, the way to go. Um, yeah. Hey, Nova Dice. Look at that. I freaking don't want to lose the box. Hey, Nova Dice. I honestly am not a big fan of the uh, the clan symbol or whatever it's called, clan emblem. I don't I don't freaking know what they call it. To be yeah, but to be honest, I'm not a big fan of the Nova one. <laughs> All right, so we still have one SP to pull, and then we have one SP pack to pull, and this it, now we're over halfway done at this case, so we still got a good bit to pull here. Also, we have three more, uh, uh, what is it, Bar Bergios? I don't freaking know how to pronounce that name. It's freaking stupid. Bergios. I think that's it. I think that's I think I got it. You're proud of me, Mom. <laughs> oh, man. Show it to me, Thavis. Sweet card. To be fair. Tell you what, after opening all 12 cases, I'm gonna have a freaking SP collection. I mean, when I opened 20 cases of Silver Dust, I guess I definitely did have a SP collection. I don't even remember. I think I had six uh, of the X. Um, I don't remember exactly what my pulls were. I guess I could go back. I probably had a complete uh, recap of it. But I had like six of the X. I had like eight of like, uh, I think it was Santa Well, I wanna say. I had like four gallops. It's a 
Let's get it, boys! <laughs> Let's freaking go, dude. That's what I'm talking about in there. Hey. Finally, a Victor SP pack. Funny how I'm wanting the cheaper SP pack, but... There it is, Extreme Battler, Victor SP, first one we pulled, actually. Very nice, look at that, very, very nice card. All right, we've got Airshed, A, hey, Airshed, I don't know how to pronounce your name, man. but there you go. Uh, Sternblau Kluger, I actually wasn't expecting that to be in here, but very nice. Okay, uh, Deslag, A, hey, I'm actually happy that one's in here. So there's no reprints besides Twin Blader. Blau uh, Junger, I guess. Uh, twin Blader. And then, quick. I might need to keep this Quick Shield. I might need to keep the Quick Shield. I might need to keep it. I don't know. I don't know. All right, guys. That's freaking sweet. Let's go, boys. You know, honestly, this is going to be a pretty cheap SP pack. It's going to be probably 100 bucks. Um, But I don't know. I mean, let's look at this realistically. Probably 15 on the Quick Shield, 15 on the, the PG. I might be undercutting it a bit. So 20 on the starter, let's just say. So that's 50 right there. I want to say 15 for Dosh Lag, maybe a little bit more. Another 15 for Blau Kluger. And then these ones, this will probably be another 15. And this will probably be like 30. I feel like I'm undercutting it each time. But it's like, as a seller, that's kind of just uh, my usual. <laughs> but something like that. Outside of some singles, this is probably my last purchase uh, pre-overdress. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's probably definitely a smart idea. Before, uh, be make sure you know what uh, what's happening, because it you never know. I mean, this is completely this is probably shit to say, but it, all these cards might be worthless. You just never know. So, better be safe than sorry. But I just freaking lost like six freaking sales. I bet by saying that. I was the, I'm, I'm the dumbest salesman ever. Who the hell says that? <laughs> But I assume I can get the uh, Galaxy Blau Kluger um, as a regular SP. I still haven't pulled that. But... Uh, more packs. So all we've got left is one SP out of this. And then we've got one more case left. So we've pretty much already gotten... I think we've almost gotten one of each SP. Um, besides, I don't think... I don't know if Galaxy Blau Kluger is in here. Can someone research if Galaxy Blau Kluger comes as an SP? I'm actually kind of intrigued to know. If, if it does, I kind of want it. I'm building Gigarex deck because I am out of date and proud. I mean, I have a freaking, uh, what's, it's, what's it called? A uh, Spike Brothers deck with only cards from EB09. So, um, I mean, that's definitely a lot older than uh, just regular Gigarex, but, you know. I have a few older decks now. I guess that deck is kind of, what is it, over a year old now. I can't even play IRL right now. Yeah, the freaking, all this COVID stuff's kind of just screwing up. But to be fair, it's actually crazy that even with all this COVID stuff, the market's actually doing way better than it was before COVID, which is actually pretty crazy to think of. Um, think about but I guess to a point it makes sense because people are bored and they buy cards I don't freaking know what, what the reasons are, but I feel like that might be one of the big selling points Shoe ran wait All right It's COVID prices will spike because we don't know how overdress is gonna work yeah, that's why. It's like Overdress literally will change everything by what changes um, it makes to the game. So it's like you could go safe, which is probably definitely the better option. You could be a dumbass like me and just, you know, just don't give a shit. Like, I don't even take that into consideration. I buy cards whenever the hell I want. <laughs> but it's like there's definitely multiple ways you could look at it because, again, Overdress could be something completely different than what we're expecting, um, which I, I don't really know. What are people expecting? It's like... I feel like there's so many different opinions, it's, like, hard to tell. Also, I'm tired of Nubas getting support right before a major change. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess, uh, what was it? Shran, we got a, um, a major buff from BB, I mean, GBT, uh, 14, and that's when they did their whole, uh, reboot type thing. I, I guess that's what it was called. Like, I bet, I'm pretty sure Shiranui was, like, one of the best decks at that point, or the best deck, with all of the uh, new Shiranui cards. What was it, Zanki and, 
uh, Zenny, some shit like that. I don't freaking remember the exact names, but you guys know what I'm talking about. The Z I think Zanky was the stride, or was the other way around? I don't fucking remember. Well, well, that one went in the trash can. No, Galaxy Blob Kaluger. I really hope this one is an SP. I keep saying it, and I don't know. If someone can confirm, that'd be great. But so far, this has been a great case. Um, I feel like Nova is probably the second to worst SP pack to pull. So money-wise, it's kind of a shit pull. But at the same time, one, I've pulled two of the best ones uh, twice. And also, I wanted to see the cards anyway, so it's like I don't give a shit. I don't know how to balance a hand-controlled deck in a game that puts so much value in a hand. Yeah, it's it's a tough one. I mean, at the, at the same point, it's like... It's kind of hard, and you guys can see from, from Bushiro's point of view, they screwed up how many times when it comes to, like, over-buffing a, a, a clan or something. It's not easy running a card game, to be fair. You have an SP in Japanese, but do they have one in English? I assume that they do. I'm pretty sure they don't, like, change SP printings um, because of what, where they go or whatever, what uh, language the cards are in. of cards to still go here we're only an hour and 12 minutes in all right another lambros now i know if i see a lambros it ain't an sp because i don't think you can pull two of the same sps i mean maybe imagine somehow pulling two lambros sps and then an aqua force sp back wouldn't that be funny usually as you're gonna leave. The most balanced of them we've gotten was probably current yesterday. Yeah, to be fair, it's definitely a good point. I can't think of any deck that was either that was not like in the middle. They're pretty much always either shit or amazing. Also, to be fair, when Shireen we first came out in uh, G, people thought it was broken, but it really wasn't. I don't know. Well, when they heard about the dominate skill, I guess. Around that time was the time when I didn't have a shop, but I was, like, just watching the series and, like, keeping a little bit of an eye on uh, what was winning and all that. So here, I think I'm going to move these double rares, too, because I keep whacking it with the side of my hand. All right. Too much break to play. Yeah, I guess so. Also, again, I've never really played those decks. Um, I mean, I played them in like, like back in the day, but nothing with G and all that. But I definitely can see what you mean. Right now, I'm waiting for my freaking hand to start, my finger to start bleeding. It looks like nothing, but it actually hurts like a bitch, dude. Um, Victor. Galaxy Blau Kluger. Hey. Blau Kluger. I think I said that right. It's either Blau Kluger or Blau Cougar. Hmm. The world may never know. We can just pull this last SP. I'll go straight to the next case. Stern Blau Kluger.
Yeah, I want to. I actually really want to see what uh how Shiran uh how Shiran runs with the uh, in standard. I actually haven't looked at it at all. All I know is it's been doing pretty well. But I would actually like to see a a, a game with those. I'll probably search it up. See if anyone. I I bet you a YouTuber at least one YouTuber has done a game, Shiran versus another clan. Something like that. But I'd definitely be interested to look at that. Come on, let's be show yourself. I cannot believe I opened packs for I think it was f nearly six hours with uh, silver dust because I'm already starting to get tired and it's an hour and 15 minutes in of this pack opening and we still have a case. To be fair, my energy depletes about it probably triple as fast as when I'm just regularly opening them because talking this much actually takes a lot out of you and i just dropped a freaking victor oh my gosh the disrespect no imagine there's an asr in this pile too all right and i just disrespected my avatar man damn avatar What SP do I want if I don't take the Alexi Black Clue? Hmm. I mean, I would love to get like a, a Vic. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure you can't. Actually, I don't even know because last time with VBT 10, I said that and it ended up being the SP ended up being in the same box as a uh, Fergius. So I guess I'll just keep going. running out of things to talk about. And last bag in this box. SP question mark. And no there. We've got five more boxes and one SP should be in one of these five boxes. Hopefully it shows up soon because I'd rather not open all these dud boxes on stream. I'd rather open them off stream. But we will see. Ranway, that's one I would actually like. I don't think I pulled one of those as a singular SP. No, I haven't actually. But that'd be nice to pull. Measured Fossa. How many Gurgit SP packs do you think you will pull for set 12 uh, cases? Um, I'm buying 12 cases, so probably around uh, 2 to 3, I want to say. I mean, it matters which one I get more of because it's never even. If it was even, then what I would pull? Uh, how many would I pull? I would pull basically two and a half of each, I think. Something like that. So. I don't have my numbers right there. There's five SP packs, right? Yeah, Isabella. Because it's the same amount with the other one. Yeah, yeah, okay. I got my numbers right. Pretty much, statistically, I shouldn't be pulling any more. No, I should only be able to pull one more of each Lambros and the uh, Nubatama SP pack. I think it's all about how, how much do you think Undead for Grand Blue will go for clan selection? I'm interested in speculating prices for clan selection. Um, I have a feeling most of the prices are going to be low when it comes to prices for um, clan selection, but it's because there's so many cards per box that will have some value to them, meaning like 50 cents here, dollar here, five dollars here. Then I have a feeling the main vanguards will probably be around the f two to five dollar range. 
And maybe like the biggest ones like Chaos Breaker might be like a $7 one. Talking about I want a Galaxy Blau Kluger. There it is. Okay. Okay. Literally, I am... I am... I don't know what's going on. I asked for an Isabella. I got an Isabella. I asked for a Nova SP pack. I got a Nova SP pack. I asked for a Galaxy Blau Kluger. There it is. All right. Psyqualia at its finest. All right, on to the next case. And the last case for a bit. And then again, as I keep saying, and I probably repeat myself like six times, more boxes will be coming probably around the release date. Um, so six more cases will be around there. But yeah. But obviously, Emerald, I hope that I pull a, uh, a lot of Jurgit SP packs because they'll be pricey. They'll probably be not Luard level, but close to it. I mean, if anything, maybe they'll be more than Luard, thinking about it now. It's like Luard was going to be crazy because of um, when it was able to use the main. Then when the main was gone, all the prices just got shot. So maybe Gurgit actually might be uh, more expensive when it comes to SPs because um, be, unless it gets uh, nerfed. My gosh, could this almost? If this was sharp, I would have just freaking cut myself. Oh. The thing didn't want to work. I put a little bit too much pressure, and the freaking blade slid right on my finger. Screw this knife. I need a new one. None of that stuff would happen if I actually, the freaking thing worked. I have a feeling Galaxy Blau Kluger will probably be a $40 card around that. So it's a good pull. Maybe 30 but it's still a good pull. $30 singular SP is a really good pull. A lot of them are a solid ten to twenty dollars, so anything above that's always good. Ugh. Last case, I'm always exhausted. No matter how many cases I opened, I'm always dead by the end. To be fair, though, we're making really good time today. We're an hour and 20 minutes in, and we've opened, what, a solid, I want to say 30, 35-ish boxes. It would be more, but we didn't uh, open the rest of those cases. Dennis, I actually had a feeling that was an SP, but I feel like I say that every time I see a Dennis. Wish I could actually find this damn knife. Another thing, thinking about it now, now basically going through my head, like, what am I going to do after stream? What I need to do is post um, all of my dice, um, sleeves, play mats, all that stuff um, onto my website. And then also sort a lot of cards. Um, also, one thing I really would like to do, but I don't know if I'm really going to. This is like, it's like, this is going to be one of the tough, one of the tough things. One of the things I don't know I'm going to do, if I'm going to do yet, is to start doing singles, like more expensive ones. Like right now, I'm not doing any of the cheap ones. Like I'm not doing, um, even expensive VRs I'm not doing yet. Um, I'm trying to start things slow and everything. But the one thing I was thinking about, maybe to post SPs. Now, I would have to definitely test this. Maybe I test it out with this set, but, um, 
it's like I need to definitely test it to make sure it's like actually gonna get sales because it's a lot more work than posting case splits because case splits I only have to post like four case splits and then I post cases and then like it's a lot simpler than posting um, like 30 different SPs um, because it's a lot harder to post stuff um, through a personal through my website than it is to uh, TCG player um, for example Lambros. I didn't see it. Did we get any dice with the split? No, there is no dice um, included with the split. Um, but basically, it's just a separate thing. Um, right now, I mean, if you're interested in it now, um, the dice are $7 for a set of three. But, yeah. Sadly, I wish they gave more dice, because if they gave more dice, I would be able to add them to the splits. That would definitely be a cool thing to add into it. But um, for now, they only give, sadly, one per box. Which means I get what five per case, and there's one and a half uh, case splits per case, pretty much. So the numbers aren't exactly the same. Say if I got six dice for each clan, then I would actually be able to add them to the splits if I wanted to. I couldn't grip the freaking packs, man. This is just getting sad. Alright, so we still have three SPs on an SP pack left to pull. Galaxy Blau Kluger. Hey. Yo, I'm back. What we got now? Well, I actually don't remember when you left, but we basically got everything here, including Isabel SP, Lambros, Blau Kluger, and we pulled a Nova S, uh, SP pack. So I don't remember exactly when you left, but yeah. That was all of that case. Now we're on to another case, which is the last case for today. And again, I keep repeating it, but we will have more cases of this later in time. Yeah. Indeed. Just got to get these packs through so I can get the sorting and posting stuff. Basically, I'm going to be working my ass off this next week because Black Friday is coming up. And then also, obviously, the release date of this set's coming up. So, and we got Big Belly. Stern Blau Kluger. Probably going to be a dollar card, I want to say. I mean, it's a matter of, is it a four spot for Blau's? I assume it is, considering... Isn't Galaxy Blau Kluger skill something about the raid threes or something? Oh, frickin' remember. Come on, show yourself. And obviously, there's still a chance of us pulling another ASR here. It's low. There's always the chance. I mean, with my luck, I'll pull three more out of one case. With my apparent luck. Funny how um, the XVR, which I'm pretty sure that was one in three cases, it took me 20 plus cases to pull one. But this is a 1 in 10 case. The ASR is a 1 in 10 cases. And I've pulled one out of 6 cases, 7 cases. And right now I've opened, this is my 6th case. And I, I pulled one in my 3rd. So, I don't know what's up with that. But XVRs just don't show themselves for me. But then the um, ASRs do. I mean, to be fair, I'd rather the ASRs than the XVRs because the ASRs are worth more. <laughs> Easy money for me, man. Alright. SP could show its face at any point. Oh, cool, Hank. You know, I'd like it if I could end this off. Uh, and today off with an Isabella SP pack. That'd be sweet. Just be a pretty bad end if we pull a, a Big Belly one. But, I mean, at the same time, we've gotten such good luck. It's like I couldn't complain either way. Victor. Second favorite art out of this. I wish it was a little. If it was a little bit better, I'd say it's better than Lambros, but it's it's close. I always do this. Every set I have a little competition is like, which card looks the best? Considering I'm looking at 
them so many times. Like, why not have a little bit of fun with it? Oh, Dennis. I thought we already pulled one of those. Oh, no, that was cool. Huh? I don't know why I thought one was the other. Okay. Last pack of this box. Isabella. You want to open? That's actually what I would like. I would like a Shiranui SP. Out of one of these three singular SPs, give me a Shiranui. Shiranui or... Huh. What is the other one I would like? Hmm. I mean, I'll take another Galaxy Blau Kluger. I'll take any of the VRs. I mean, obviously, Big Belly would be the least on my list, but I mean, I'll take that too. Blau Kluger. Galaxy Blau Kluger actually looks similar when it comes to the background um, to uh, Big Belly. They're very similar, I'd say. I'm... All right. Oh, SP for great nature. You know what? I've had such good luck. I can't complain about that. All right. Sweet. All right, I'll put the rest of these packs to the side, considering we can't pull an SP out of them. I'm just trying to get this stream done as quick as possible at this point, because I want to get to sorting. So that's why I'm going to just skip the packs that I know can't have an SP or SP pack in them. I'm, I'm almost imagining there's almost no way of me getting something that isn't a great nature SP pack. So I'm just really hoping it's Isabella. Oh, and as I say, Isabella, there it is. Give me the SP version, man. Come on. The heck? That one didn't really get out of the pack. All right. Come on, ASR. Show yourself. Imagine I pulled two ASRs out of six cases. How pissed people would be. And we've got, what, two SPs and an SP pack left. 
terrific quill dragon. When it attacks, if this is the first battle of the turn, soul blast one and stan this unit. When stand by card ability, if you uh, you may have this get 5k. For a second, I thought it said something completely different, but backtrack for a second and read it again. <laughs> Second, I thought that was an SP. For one second. All right. Not oh, been a while since we've seen a Sharan. Nice, nice. Definitely one of the better. If you don't get an SP, ASR, or an RE out of a box, this is the best box you can get. That Lambros and uh, Sharanwi combo. And last pack of this box. Absolutely nothing. All right, eight boxes in out of this case after opening this one. the presence of the SP pack is coming. Oh, and big belly. New rear is retired by card ability during each battle phase or end phase, you may draw a card. When an attack counterblast one, choose one of your opponents. Uh, choose no, choose one of your uh, twenty thousand or greater rear guards. And stand it if you stand all of your cheese. It actually seems really good. Big belly killing it over here. Isabella. some commons luckily they didn't go too far right. here like per usual and it's up here. All right. two more packs out of this box oh that's the first time i screwed up opening a pack in a while all right two more boxes then we'll be halfway so far only one sp once again, we've got two SPs and an SP pack. That's amazing. Burgius. Once again, thank you, Bushy Red, for reprinting that card. again I think the problem is with me being tired right now is because of the fact that I'm doing it so late and my I've been up for a while doing stuff so that's probably it if I actually want to do more than just um, two to three cases I definitely should do it earlier before my before I'm almost uh, what is it called before it's close to my bedtime it was ordered appreciate it man uh, 
plan to ship out a day before the release date if everything goes to plan. If not, on the release date. But, yeah. I'm going to see if those Nubas do good. I mean, again, in, in the, the with the Japanese uh, lists or whatever, whatever they call them, it's, it showed that they were topping a lot. So we will see if the same thing happens over here in English. I mean, there might be more Luards, let's be honest. Uh, than in the Japanese stuff because when they screw, I mean at the same time maybe I'm that's completely wrong because um in with the Japanese thing with the uh with the whole issue with the Luard, basically everyone bought Luard, so then everyone had Luard, so everyone used Luard, so maybe it would be different and there probably will be more of this set played. Acquired outsider selection singles if they're good. I am done. Pretty overdressed, sick. All right, my man's all set. Definitely doing it the smart way here. Question is, what is Ethics Buster going to be doing? Because I'm going to probably be playing it, but the question is, will it be like a Beastie thing where it's like Beastie name type thing? But at this, no, they're aren't they reprinting? What were they reprinting? Kick Kick, I think, and one other for Novas? I don't remember exactly, but that tells me that they're not doing Beastie's. Like, like the name will be in the in the, the Beast Deity will be in that card's name, but it won't be anything to do with like stand Beast Deities. No, it'll be stand like two rear guards or one rear guard, I guess. So probably it'll just be Victor with that instead, or that with a co combo of like one or two Victors or something. I mean, nobody really knows. Let's be honest. But oh, Thavis thought that was an SP. SP Thavis would be nice. Airship. And so it and went with day one. Yeah, honestly, like with me, Nova um, was my main deck back in the day, like freaking eight years ago, and still my main this day. Even though like Victor isn't that great, to be fair. So, oh, Isabella, I'll just put that in the wrong pile. Ethics reverse with no limit break four and soul. T two and soul. Give me a Victor SP, dude. Victor, you know, just pop your head out here. Oh! <laughs> no freaking way, dude. That's a play set of Lambros. That's a play set of Lambros. No frick. Six cases of play set of Lambros. Are you freaking kidding me? Holy shit actually crazy it's like probably one of the most expensive cards in this set besides like what ran we if the sleeve but thank you Jeez. that's freaking nuts dude all right oh my that's actually freaking mad i mean considering i got shit spike brother and tachikaze sb packs like the whole time with the uh, bbt10 i guess i kind of deserved a little bit of this action oh my gosh hey i'm back what i miss um a lot of good pulls to be fair i'll actually do a little recap let me just take these packs out show you what i pulled today all the other stuff um from yesterday is in a binder right now so um get all these burgesses out of here and put them one quick second. All right, so quick recap here. So two Lambroses. These are single SPs. Very, ni very, very nice. Isabella, Galaxy Blau, Kluger, uh, Airshed, um, Daughter, I guess I'll call it, uh, Measured Fossa, and then a Nova SP pack. Very nice. Very, very nice there. Um, we've got a Aqua SP pack, very nice also, and that's it for, because we've only opened what? We opened, this is our, we still have an SP pack to pull out of this one, that's why it doesn't seem like that much, because we're only opening two and a half cases, and, uh, what's it called? The half, um, we still had an SP pack left, so, we still have a good bit to go. What do we have? We have one SP and an SP pack now remaining. Alright, sick. But we're doing good so far today. Definitely. Oh. 
Okay. So we pulled two Aqua, two Nubatama, and two Nova SP packs. Okay. Okay. I mean, I can't complain. Can I really? Like, I just can't. I can't complain at all. All right. Sweet. So we didn't get a single Great Nature SP pack, even though there are two Great Nature SP packs. That's actually funny as hell. Kind of don't like that Blau uh, Junger was the uh, starter that got SP'd out, but I mean to be fair, Blau's are de are better than Victor apparently. So, but I mean I'll take it. I mean Great Nature just kind of got screwed up the ass, but all right. Um, I'm gonna move these packs also to the side. Every time I get an SP, I've been moving the the rest of the packs to the side because again I want to get to the next SP. So all we got left is one SP left. So. All right. Yeah, and we've got nine boxes. Oh, my gosh. It's going to probably take forever to get, find this thing, but we'll go for it. Lots of packs to definitely go through unless we somehow top this uh, SP from the first box after the SP pack, which usually doesn't happen. If I could get an Aboro SP, that'd be freaking crazy. Having two no SP, but one Victor, one Blau. Are they? Do, are there different ones? That's the question. Are there Blau SP packs? I don't think there are. That's the thing. It would actually be pretty cool if they did make it uh, to have two, though. That would be pretty cool. But at the same time, then it makes it so it's like less of a chance of Lambros and all the other ones that are more valuable. So, I mean, it would be a good and a bad thing to a point. I'm saying I'm glad they... Oh, okay, yeah. To be fair, if they did, yeah, it would be bad for a vendor because you kind of get screwed. <laughs> oh. Dude... Popped it right off, and it's an Isabella. I, I can't even believe this. The luck is unbelievable. I mean, the only bad luck we got is getting Nova SP packs, but I'm completely fine with that. Oh, my gosh, dude. What the hell? Uh, jeez. Today has been freaking crazy. Okay, okay. I mean, not much else to do today. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. All right, boys. I don't freaking know. I think that's about it. There ain't much else to say at this point. Freaking Isabella coming out of every corner here. Um. <laughs> um. So that's everything, really, when it comes to SPs. There isn't much else to do besides there's just obviously a bunch of VRs, triple rares, and stuff to still to pull, but I'm not going to. Uh, bore you guys with that so that's basically it i guess um crazy luck to be fair um i mean literally we've got we got mostly good stuff when it comes to all these packs my hair is a mess um but yeah it's basically it. i hope you guys did enjoy i'm gonna relax for a bit uh my throat's freaking killing me but yeah i hope you guys enjoy if you did hit the like button subscribe and um again there'll be more of this later and hopefully there'll be a bto1 pack opening on the 16th which is my birthday. So, yep, we'll be doing that. Hopefully, I will uh, announce it on Twitter and uh, Discord if we are. That's basically it. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, if you like, subscribe. And we'll see you guys later. And goodbye.